on our way to actual Yonsei orientation and there are people running and screaming uphill and I can't do that right now. A uh, regular Yonsei orientation was was okay. This hour was just information that was basically being regurgitated to us because we've already been exposed to that type of information because of our program orientation. And then the latter hour was the student organizations on campus trying to tell us, hey, join our club, we'll give you alcohol. <laughs> Literally all it was. What a culture. Could you imagine? If your university back at home tried to entice you with alcohol at bars and clubs during your orientation process, yeah. We are at Pungjang Market, the oldest and largest market in Seoul, and it's done so well that they got a roof over their head. They deserved it. And now we're gonna go get food because I'm starving. But then after that, I'll show you how it looks like. Woohoo! Sorry guys, I ate first. Not the camera. I just love fried food. Yo, I love hot dog. Oh, I'm so excited. It's only $1.50. Oh. Here it is. Oh, fresh off the greasy, greasy pan. So much oil. Oh, yeah. Watch me eat everyone. <laughs> Lead the way, hot dog. School supply shopping at Daiso. <laughs> I just got a weird look. Oh god. It's okay. Confidence. People should think I'm famous by this point, right? Oh my gosh, the stitch ones are so cute. Hey. Oh my god, and Toy Story. Now we are at Art Box for more school supply shopping. Oh, oh my god, they even have fabric castell pens here too. Oh, what do I do? School supply haul. To be honest, I actually brought a lot of my own supplies with me because if you know me, I love color and organization. Just got these notebooks from Daiso and they were about $2 each. They're super cute, super small, and they're all Disney themed. I guess I'll start off with my holy grail, my passion planner. Like, uh, of a bullet journal this time around just because I didn't have time to create my own weekly spreads and whatnot. Uh, but I still was able to have a good organization system as well as I still had enough space as like a creative outlet. That's why I bought the bigger version because I needed more space to doodle and decorate and whatnot. This is an example of how my weekly spreads kind of look like and how I decorate them. This was last week's schedule. I just love the way that it feels and the way that it looks. It's just it's perfect for me. I'm going to the DMZ on this day, fun fact, so. And then the next thing closest to my holy grail in the passion planner are the tools that I use to decorate my passion planner. And it's 
all of my pens and it's a lot of pens and it's probably very unnecessary because most people just do black and blue, red, and but sometimes green. But you know what? Life is colorful. Make it as colorful as possible. I use the Faber Castell Fort Pitt Artist Pens in black and they come in four different sizes and I use these to write down like my main things in my passion planner you know just things like that and then I go in with these uni Profis highlighters to add in a little bit of color and it's cool because they have like a thick end and then they have like a thin marker end plus they have windows so you can see what you're highlighting right in the middle here while it highlights the entire thing so you're not gonna go astray oh god I love these things even more color I have 20 brilliant colors from Stedler as you can see beautifully Oh god. And then here I am. I bought freaking six more colors today because I didn't have these colors. They're only in the pastel version of the 20 brilliant colors and they were so pretty I couldn't. So yeah, all of these go towards making this look pretty. I enjoy aesthetically pleasing things. Notes and stuff. I go to this classic, this classic G2 gel pen life. But I still have multiple colors, so I have maroon, red, really and green, and then here I have pink, and then a dark blue, purple. Where's my black pen? Oh, that's an issue. And I have like miscellaneous things in here. And then I just have some post-its, some tape, those scissors I showed you from my earlier Daiso haul, and then a six pocket folder. My journal, I haven't written in it yet, but just a place for my thoughts. Simple.